Oh, well, my owlets, I'm fortunate we couldn't strike a bargain, but that too is the way things are. Flutter along home to your nest and do give little Dobbin our love. What's this? A brooch? From the summer to Yesen? Yes, that would be quite interesting. Just the thing, perhaps. Why didn't we kill you and take it? My poor dear sweet little chicken. Don't you understand? Like knowledge, love, and truth themselves, the brooch must be given willingly or its power is broken. And it is indeed filled with power. This too, you must understand. Minnie the Bard cast a mighty spell on it and filled it with dreams, wisdom, and vision. With such a brooch, a duckling could win much glory and honor. He might rival all the heroes of Prydain. Think very carefully, chicken. Once given up, it shall not come to you again. Will you exchange it for an evil cauldron you only intend to destroy? It's done. The brooch for the cauldron. You are a bold chicken, we must admit. The cauldron is yours entirely, no question about it. And since it is yours, you're entitled to know how to dispose of it. Naturally, you can do what you want with it. You'd be quite welcome to hammer and kick it until the birds start nesting again. But, my sweet goslings, you'd never destroy the cauldron that way. Goodness, no, you'd be going about it all wrong. There's only one way to destroy it. A living person must climb into it. When he or she does, the cauldron will shatter. But there is one disagreeable thing about that. The poor duckling who climbs in will never come out again alive. Yes, that's the way of it. The cauldron only cost you a brooch, but it will cost you a life to destroy it. Not only that, but whoever gives up his life to the cauldron must give it willingly, knowing full well what he or she does. There's no other way, my godlings. No. My chickens, we really must say farewell. We're dreadfully sleepy, and you woke us up so early, you know. Farewell.